takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. This is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology. So there's no romantics in there, absolutely. No blowing up bridges, no microfilms in Coca-Cola cans, nothing of that sort. <laughs> no James Bond nonsense. It's most of the, this activity is overt, legitimate, and easily observable if you give yourself time and trouble to observe it. But according to the law and, and law enforcement systems of the Western civilization, it's not a crime. Exactly because of misconception, manipulation of terms. We think that subverter is a person who is going to blow up our beautiful bridges. No. Subverter is a student who comes for exchange, a diplomat, an actor, an artist, a journalist like myself was 10 years ago. The next step is destabilization. Again, this word says for itself what it is. To destabilize all the relations, all the accepted institutions and organizations in the country of your enemy. How you do it? You don't have to send up a battalion of KGB agents to blow up bridges. No. You let them do it themselves. The moment you, you bring a country to the point of almost total demoralization, when nothing works anymore, when you are not sure whether it is right or, or wrong, good and bad, but there's no division between evil and good, when even the leaders of church sometimes say, well, violence for the sake of justice, especially social justice, is justified. Violence is not justified especially for the sake of quote-unquote social justice introduced by Marxist-Leninism. When the legitimate bodies of power, the social structure collapse, it cannot function anymore. We have artificial body injected into society, such as non-elected committees, social workers who are not elected by people, media who, self, who are self-appointed rulers of your opinion, uh, some strange groups uh, which claim that they know how to lead society forward. Here, we have all this artificial body claiming power. If the power is denied to them, they take it by force. The population at large is looking for a savior. Population is sick and tired of it. And here we are, we have a savior. Either a foreign nation comes in, or the local group of of leftists, Marxists, so we have two alternatives here. Civil war and invasion. Okay. So no more revolutions, please. Normalization now. From now on, no more strikes, no more homosexuals, no more women lib, no more kid lib, no more lib, period. <laughs> A good, solid 
democratic proletarian freedom. <laughs> and yet these people who've been programmed and, as you say, in place and yes. who are favorable to an opening with the Soviet concept, mm -hmm. these are the very people who would be marked for extermination in this country? Most of them, yes. Uh,